The Chevrolet Series C Classic 6 holds a special place in automotive history as the first car produced by the Chevrolet Motor Company. This vehicle represents the origins of one of America's most iconic car brands and marks the beginning of Chevrolet's journey to becoming a household name in the automotive industry. The Chevrolet Motor Company was founded on November 3, 1911, by Louis Chevrolet and William C. Durant. Louis Chevrolet was a Swiss-born race car driver and automotive engineer, while William C. Durant was a successful businessman who had previously founded General Motors. Durant's entrepreneurial spirit and Chevrolet's engineering expertise made for a powerful partnership. After Durant was ousted from GM in 1910, he sought to regain his influence in the automotive industry. To achieve this, he teamed up with Louis Chevrolet to create a new car company that could compete with the likes of Ford and other established manufacturers. The company was named Chevrolet in honor of its co-founder and to leverage Louis Chevrolet's reputation as a race car driver. The first vehicle produced by the newly formed Chevrolet Motor Company was the Series C Classic 6. Designed as a luxurious and high-performance automobile, was introduced to the public in 1913. The car was developed under the direction of Etienne Planche, a French engineer who worked closely with Louis Chevrolet. The goal was to create a car that could compete with the best models on the market at the time, combining style, comfort, and performance. Was Chevrolet's statement of intent, showcasing the brand's potential and setting the stage for future innovations. The Classic 6 was a marvel of engineering for its time, boasting several advanced features and specifications. The Classic 6 was powered by a 4.9-liter inline six-cylinder engine. This engine type was relatively advanced for the era, providing smooth and reliable performance. The engine produced approximately 40 horsepower at 2,000 revolutions per minute, a respectable figure for the early 1910s. This power output allowed the car to reach speeds of up to 65 miles per hour, which was quite impressive at the time. Featured an overhead valve configuration which was more efficient and offered better performance compared to the flathead engines commonly used in that era. A water-cooled system was employed to maintain optimal engine temperatures ensuring reliability and longevity. The Classic 6 came with a three-speed manual transmission. This gearbox allowed for smooth and precise gear changes, contributing to the car's overall drivability. The vehicle utilized a rear-wheel drive layout, which was typical for the time and provided balanced handling characteristics. The car was built on a robust steel frame, providing a strong and durable foundation for the vehicle. Featured semi-elliptic leaf springs on both the front and rear axles. This suspension setup offered a comfortable ride, absorbing the bumps and rough terrain common on early 20th century roads. Mechanical drum brakes were used on all four wheels. While not as effective as modern hydraulic brakes, they provided adequate stopping power for the vehicle's performance capabilities. The Classic 6 had a wheelbase of 120 inches, which contributed to its stable and comfortable ride. The overall length of the vehicle was approximately 183 inches. The car measured about 70 inches in width and had a curb weight of around 2,850 pounds, making it a relatively heavy vehicle for its time. The car was designed to accommodate up to five passengers, offering ample space and comfort for both the driver and passengers. Featured high-quality materials, including leather upholstery and wooden trim, reflecting its status as a luxury vehicle. The dashboard was equipped with basic instruments, including a speedometer, fuel gauge, and oil pressure indicator, providing essential information to the driver. The vehicle came with acetylene gas headlamps, which were common before the widespread adoption of electric lighting systems in automobiles. When the Chevrolet Series C Classic 6 was introduced in 1913, it was priced at $2,150. This price point positioned it as a premium vehicle, competing with other high-end cars of the era, such as the Cadillac Model 30 and the Packard 6. Despite its relatively high price, the Classic 6 garnered positive reviews for its performance, comfort, and build quality, however was not a commercial success in terms of sales volume. Its high price limited its appeal to a broader audience, and Chevrolet quickly realized that to compete effectively with Ford's Model T, they needed to produce more affordable vehicles. This insight led to a shift in Chevrolet's strategy, focusing on producing high-quality yet affordable cars for the mass market. Following the Classic 6, Chevrolet introduced a series of more affordable and practical vehicles such as the Series H and Series F. These models helped Chevrolet gain a foothold in the competitive automotive market, eventually leading to the company's rise as a dominant player in the industry. In 1918, 
Chevrolet merged with General Motors, solidifying its position as one of America's leading car manufacturers. This merger allowed Chevrolet to leverage GM's resources and expertise, further accelerating its growth and success. The Chevrolet Series C Classic 6 is more than just a car. It is a symbol of ambition, innovation, and the beginning of a legacy that would shape the automotive industry for decades to come. Its advanced engineering, luxurious features, and historical significance make it a fascinating chapter in the story of Chevrolet. Today, the Classic 6 is a prized collector's item, celebrated by automotive enthusiasts for its historical importance and its role in the evolution of one of the world's most iconic car brands. The story of the Chevrolet Series C Classic 6 is a testament to the vision and determination of its founders, and it remains a cherished piece of automotive history.